Today is Safer Internet Day, a day celebrated across the globe in over 170 countries, with thousands of children joining in across the UK. It's a day when we celebrate all the great things about being online and remind ourselves how we can stay safe. There are lots of different ways that you can use the internet. This is also called going online. They both mean the same thing. Can you give me a thumbs up if you or someone in your house has ever played on an iPad or tablet, used a computer or laptop, watched a TV show or on Netflix, Amazon Prime, BBC iPlayer, etc. Um, asked a smart speaker to do something uh, like Alexa or Google Home. Played with other people in an online video game. Used a mobile phone to chat, video call, play a game, watch a video or find something out. Or used a smartwatch to count how many steps you've done or something similar. I'd love to know what kind of things you like to do online. There are some pictures here to help give you some ideas. You might like to look at photos online that people in your family have shared, listen to your favourite songs, or you might like to find out information about your favourite thing. For example, when new dinosaurs are discovered. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to talk to the person next to you. What do you like to do online? This year for Safer Internet Day, we are looking at information online and whether we can trust everything that we read or see on the internet. Can you give me a thumbs up if you think that everything you see online is true? Or a thumbs down if you think that there might be some things online that aren't true? I'm sure there are lots of thumbs down. Yes, that's right. Although there is lots of great information online that is useful and trustworthy, it's important to remember that there is also information online that is not trustworthy and may even be there to try and confuse us. I'm going to read your story now about a duck called Dig Digiduck who loves to go online. It's called Detective Digiduck and it's all about using the internet to find things out. School had nearly finished for the year, and DigiDuck had one last project. His teacher, Mrs Goose, had asked the class to find out about animals that live in the forest. DigiDuck knew his parents had friends in the forest, but he'd never been. Forests were a mystery. He needed to rush, though. Crazy Cat and Footy Fox were on his family farmyard games team, and they were so close to winning. If he could do this quickly, they could still play before bedtime. He searched online for forest animals. There were so many websites to choose from, but one picture caught his attention straight away. Perfect, he said happily. Digiduck discovered that a deer's antlers are the fastest growing body part of any animal in the world. And once they start growing, they don't stop. Doves travel for thousands of miles when they migrate and are happiest in cold weather. All dragons can fly and breathe fire. They live in the deepest, darkest forests. That's incredible, said Digiduck. He looked at the clock. Crazy Cat would still be online. Game time! Later that week, when Mrs Goose returned his work, he was surprised. Oh no! he exclaimed. I wonder where I went wrong. He arrived home feeling glum, but soon cheered up when he saw that Wise Owl was visiting. He was a good friend and had helped Digi Duck before. I don't understand, said Digi Duck, showing them his work. The website I chose had lots of information and fantastic pictures. I thought they were all facts. How can I tell the difference? Something is only a fact if you can prove or show that it's true, explained Wise Owl. Like the fact that all birds have beaks, we can see that, we know that it's true. 
So if I said all birds have um, eight legs, that is not a fact. I know it's untrue because I am one, replied Digi Duck. Precisely, said Wise Owl. Also, things you read or see online might just be ideas that people have. I could say on the internet that Brave Bat is the best superhero, but you might think that Daring Duck is better. We can't say who's right or wrong because they're our opinions or feelings that we have. To check if something is a fact, you have to be a detective, Digi Duck, and look for information or clues in other places too. Digi Duck leapt up enthusiastically. Detective Digi Duck on the case. He quickly stopped in his tracks. Hang on, where else are we going to look for information? I'm going to teach you three things that you can do to help decide if what you found on the internet is a fact or not. We'll use a different one for each forest animal, explained Wise Owl. We'll video call one of the animals, we'll chat with your parents, and we'll look on another website too. This is going to be amazing, yelled Digi Duck. Please, can we call the dragon first? Please! We'll save the dragon for later, but we'll call my friend Big Buck first. No one knows more about being a deer than a deer himself. The call connected and a magnificent stag appeared on screen. His antlers were quite unexpected though. Hi, waved Digi Duck. The internet says that your antlers grow really fast and never stop. But now I'm not so sure. Our antlers grow remarkably fast, said Big Buck proudly. That part's true, but we shed them in the spring and they grow again in the summer. Wait. They come off? Quacked Digi Duck, turning a little pale. It's okay, chuckled Big Buck. They're meant to, and it doesn't hurt a bit. They returned to the project over dinner. Mummy Duck, can you tell us anything about doves? Asked Wise Owl. I know that doves are truly extraordinary flyers. It won't be long before our friends think about heading off again. Where to? asked Digi Duck. The internet said they like cold places. Not all doves are the same, but some fly an exceptionally long way to get to warmer places, and this migration lasts many months. Oh, the stories they tell, replied Mummy Duck wistfully. Right, Detective, what have you learned so far? asked Wise Owl. Digi Duck studied his notebook. To check the information you find online, you need to talk about it with an adult. You might even know an expert who can help too. Very good, replied Wise Owl. That just leaves the dragon. Oh, I can't wait, said Digi Duck, hopping excitedly. Before we start, it's useful to ask yourself some questions about what you've discovered online. There might be things that you already know that can help. A good detective thinks really carefully about the clues to decide what the facts are. What do you know about dragons so far? asked Wise Owl. The website said they can fly and breathe fire, replied Digi Duck. Have you, or anyone you know, ever seen a dragon? Wise Owl asked kindly. I've seen a dragon fly before, but not a flying dragon. I don't think anyone I know has seen one of those. Have you seen any other photographs, videos or news reports about dragons? In your books, on TV or anywhere online? I watched a video about Komodo dragons, but they're actually the biggest lizards in the world. There are fire-breathing dragons in my bedtime stories. But lots of made-up things happen there, too. Digi Duck sat quietly, considering the clues in his mind. After a while, he said with a little sigh, I think dragons might not be real. I'm afraid they aren't, comforted Wise Owl. 
The information you found about dragons was untrue. They only live in made-up stories, but what terrific stories they are. Wise Owl and Digiduck searched online for a different animal to complete his project. The family farmyard had lots of interesting forest facts, and Digiduck also checked a website that Mrs Goose had shown them. On the last day of term, the children were bursting with excitement. As a special treat, Mrs Goose had arranged a picnic lunch at the forest school. Listen to the following questions and tell someone at home what you think. Do you talk to family or friends online? How? You might use video calls, phone calls, messages, or do this through games. What websites or, or online games let people talk to each other who don't know each other in person? Many, many online games and most social media sites allow communication between users. Remember, children must be over 13 to use social media. What facts about yourself should you not tell strangers online and offline? What can we call all these facts? These facts are called pers personal information. For example, your full name, home address, school address, date of birth, passwords and images of yourself. Which adults would you ask for help if, you, if something worried you online? You can ask any trusted adult at home, school, club or youth group if something worries you online. You'll be learning more about trusting information online this week. Thank you for joining in and sharing your thoughts. I hope everyone has a happy, safer internet day this year.